Hello Lola's. So I'm here with Baby Hunter and I know you guys haven't seen him in a while. So I am bringing him on so you guys can see him. Um, and he is the Dwayne Awake by Claire Teller. He is a vinyl kit. Um, and of course I have the Dwayne Asleep as well which is his twin. You guys know I'm into this twinning thing. <laughs> um, because, you know, I'm expecting my first grandbabies, which is twin girls. I am so excited about that, guys. Just, just a sidebar thing. I have just started to begin to get really excited about them. I saw them on the ultrasound uh, last week. And it was just like, oh my god, their little legs kicking and stuff. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to be a grandma. So, <laughs> so I'm really excited about that, just, just for the record. <laughs> but, um... I wanted to come on and talk to you guys and um, I'm going to change him. He's been in this for a while. Um, the thing about him is that he's my favorite to hold. Um, I just love the way that Claire, mm, I just love the way she weighted him. He, he smells good too. Um, I don't have his tummy plate on. Um, but yeah, so he's a very special baby. Um, so these will be babies that I keep as well in my collection. So as you guys know, I'm like, I'm, I'm selling a lot of the babies that I'm painting the next kits. I bought a lot of kits and now I have to sell a lot of them because, um, you know, I, sometimes I overdo it and I bought all these kits and I'm going to have to sell them because anyway, <sighs> I bought some babies. So, um, this, um, my, my babies that were painted, my reborns that was painted by Claire Teller is definitely going to stay. And the reason being is because, um, it is a very rare thing. Claire doesn't paint reborns normally. So to have babies painted by her is like a real treat. So, um, and you guys know, I love, I love rare finds <laughs> in my, my nursery. So, and that's the thing that I the reason why I brought him on as I talk about this this topic so a lot of collectors new and old were always looking for you know new babies and what's out there and even when we think we're not shopping we're kind of shopping <laughs> or we're looking at what's out there on the market even if you know like we're just window shopping um, and one of the things that I always consider the first thing I consider is my budget. I always have a budget. I always know where I don't want to go. I always know, you know, rather I'm going to need a layaway or if I'm going to be able to buy straight out or, um, you know, if I, you know, have a baby that I would be willing to sell to make a deal work. You know what I mean? Like, Say for instance, I'm looking for a doll and it's a little bit more than what I'm planning on spending. Is there a baby in my collection that I'm willing to part with to make that, <laughs> to where I can make that money happen? So, you know, because for the longest time, that's what I always had to do was to sell to buy. I am kind of trying to get away from that. However, it's kind of going backwards i i'm almost going backwards on that now and i'll tell you why i'm going backwards on it now because i've been out of the the shopping market with different artists for a while now and so therefore when i don't know what's out there and so i'm exploring so i will be trying new artists new sculpts and so you might see a few babies come and go because I just want to kind of see what's out there. Um, but mainly for me, because I hate the selling process, I'm trying to get babies that I I really want to just keep. You know what I mean? Um, and a lot, of, a lot of them I will be painting for myself. Because that's my new way of saving myself money too. So it's just to, to paint them myself. Um, so the, this kit does come with a anatomically correct, um, tummy plate, which you can do boy or girl. I preferably, 
uh, see boy. I, I mean, I, I choose boy in the awake. I think the girl you can get away with, I mean, the, the sleep you can get away with girl or boy, but with the awake, I always see boy, but that's just me. Um, I have seen a few people pull it off, but I just, I like, I like it as, um, I do like it as, as a boy for the most part. Um, I think you, I think it depends too on how you do the hair too. So, huh. is this the same diaper? I'm going to put you on a bigger diaper. So, so yeah, so, um, so yeah, so I look for my dolls. I look on eBay. I still look eBay. Um, I, I shop ethnic babies. I type in biracial. I type in ethnic reborns. I type in biracial reborns, um, or silicone if I'm looking for silicone. And then I also look on, um, on Facebook, Facebook, um, the main groups that I stay in is, um, the silicone baby, um, authentic group. And I also, uh, the, uh, reborn doll addicts. I am in that group. I, I look in that, um, I'm in those groups because you know, a lot of collectors post in there and want it or, you know, uh, doing fillers to see if anybody would be interested in this baby, if they were putting it up for sale type thing. And you can catch babies going up for sale quick and people that need a quick sale, which means they're going to sell it pretty cheap. You can, you know, and then of course I follow all the artists that I like. Um... I kind of stay away from groups that's more like, um, I don't like secluded groups that's like, you have to have a particular doll to get in the group. You have to be a certain type of collector to get in the group. I'm, I don't, people have put me in those groups. I've left a lot of those groups or, you know, um, I don't join those groups on my own, like. Um, there are some called high-end collectors or high-end dolls or prototype only. You know, I think I might be in some of them by people just putting me in there. But I don't typically go in that. I don't like those because I feel like they're isolating collectors. And I don't think it's... Honestly, for the artist, it's not beneficial. Um, when your dolls are just in one spot and nobody can only certain collectors can see your dolls. I think it's kind of, it, it limits your exposure. So it's really, and it's like, I don't know. I just, I just, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't do it. I, I do like, now they do have like a Bonnie Brown group and stuff like that. And I will post in there and stuff like that, I guess. But for selling and buying, I, um, for me, for selling, I, I do my page and I do, um, eBay and then, um, but for buying, I pretty much, most of the time I buy for, straight from the artist, but if, you know, when I'm looking, you know, I meet one of my collector friends or, you know, like I said, one of those groups, you know, uh, if I'm in a group and I see somebody have a baby up for sale like that, me, ha you know, I mean, me get it or whatever. But everybody have their own preference. Um, I try not to, to, um, I, I try to, uh, I will buy an older baby, um, if it's if it's a rare limited baby that I really want, so I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to um, Equiflex 20. I'm not opposed to um, I'm not opposed to anything. If it's something that I that I want um, and that I really like, I will go for it. So I don't have no hard fast rules on what I will collect and what I won't collect 
because um, I never know until I actually see the doll. It's all about what pulls at me. So um, I can't say, oh, I won't never buy the this type doll I won't buy that I won't buy this because it changes because if I see something that I really like and it's an equal flex 20 and it's not in the super soft I just might buy it you know um it just depends on how it's sculpted who is sculpted by because I like certain sculpt sculptors work um yeah and it's a lot of sculptors out here you know um there are sculptors that I like their sculpting, um, that I don't particularly like their painting. Um, there's also like, there's artists that I like their painting, but I don't particularly like the sculpts that they choose to paint. It's like, it, so it's always like that hard mix to find that right baby. So when I find that right baby that has that, that, that wow factor or that, um, like Miss Pam say, that wow factor or that, uh, the, 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 thing that grabs you, you know, I go for it. Um, my guy. <laughs> um, he's calling. Hang on, buddy. Um, so yeah, yeah, I, I will, I will go for it. Um, but there's, let's see, I'm going to, there's a quite a bit of sculptor names for those that are new in the community that may be looking for sculptors uh, or, you know, just to just to get on Facebook, just to go to looking. Of course, you know, the Claire Taylor, Bonnie Brown, Natalie Blake, um, Olga Ara, Laura Tuzier Ross, um, Laura Lee Eagles, um, Natalie Scholl, um, Uh, what is her name? Oh my God. Oh, Lorna Miller Sands, um, Romy Stridum, um, as far as th those are, uh, sculptors. I'm trying to think, is it anyone else? Some other sculptors, um. There are some other sculptors out there too. Um, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank. I can't think of them off. I should have wrote it down. I didn't even think I was gonna go there. But there are some other ones. What are their names? Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I'm drawing a blank. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of uh, different um, sculptors out there that you can look up and follow their work um there's uh oh yeah there's joanna kasmarak as well um who else and then you know when you're on youtube and stuff like that you got your 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 collectors who collect you know particular babies and stuff and if you like their style of collecting and then, you know, you follow their babies and you see which ones you like and you can, and that kind of helps you. You see the movement on the videos and how they fit their clothing and that helps too. Um, I always like watching videos of babies that's similar or, ba or sculpts that I, I want. Um, even after I get a baby and, you know, like some of my, my um, Dolly friends have the same sculpt, I enjoy watching their videos. Um, I just seen a new Dwayne mommy out here that has uh, the vinyl and um, I um, I really, really like hers. I love her version. It's really, really pretty. And I'm, so I, I enjoy watching how she dresses him and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's fun. And I, you know, I really, really like um, when we have, when I have, you know, I, so I do like when we have babies that like are matching, you know, um, you know, I don't want them to be identical, you know, twins, but you know, when they have similarities and they, you know, they're the same sculpt and stuff, but each one of them have their own little personality, their own little look and stuff. I think, I think it's, it's fun because I think every, every mommy wants their own unique baby. So, 
Yeah, so I like that. So that's why I think most artists don't paint, you know, two babies the same. I keep balling him up like that, but he, I like that he, he does stretch out. As you can see, he's, see, I, see, I stretch out, guys. See, I like, I like that. That's, that's the part that I liked about the, um, the vinyl. I like, I like that he has the so, but he, and he fits sleepers so nice too. And I'm not normally a sleeper person, but say I wear sleepers nicely. But yeah, so anyway, guys, again, um, thanks for watching. This is Baby Hunter. Say I am Baby Hunter, and I didn't bring his plastic, so you guys, he looks really cute with his binky, but I like him even without his binky. Um, but yeah, so he is, um, Hunter and his sister name is Hannah and maybe we'll do Hannah next, but, um, yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.